Hello, this is Joe Wiles with the Rock and Roll Conservatory, and you're watching Today in Rock History. Today is August 8th, and on this day, we celebrate November 1st. Apparently, it's a day that parents of rock stars and pop heroes like to get it on. If you want to be the parent of a rock star, make sure you conceive on November 1st, because if you do, nine months later, today, your child will share the birthday of Andy Warhol, Ali Score from A Flock of Seagulls, Chris Foreman from Madness, Ricky Rocket from Poison, The Edge from U2, Scott Stapp from Creed, and Josh Chases from NSYNC, among others. In honor of the ridiculous amount of rock stars born today, we're going to learn the Beatles' birthday song. Happy birthday, rock stars. All right, the birthday song by the Beatles is composed of three riffs in a one, four, five pattern, all right? Starts when you slide your index finger up to the seventh fret of the D string. Take your ring finger, put it on the ninth fret, and slide up to the eleventh. Like that. Take your middle finger, put it on the ninth fret of the G string. Ring finger on the eleventh fret of the G string, and bend it up a little. Bring it back down to the ninth fret, and back down to the seventh fret of the D string. It looks like this. Well, actually, um, it looks like this. And again, and then you change the whole pattern up a string. Slide up to the seventh fret of the G string, ninth to eleventh, ten, twelve, bend it, and then back down to the tenth to the seventh of the G. That riff sounds like this, and then back to the original. Then we're going to slide up to the uh, ninth fret of the G string. Then from 11 to 13, 12th fret of the B, 14 bend, back to the 12, and back to the 9 of the G. Here's how you do that riff in context. Move it up, back down. And then move it up to the ninth fret, and then back down to the original. Join us tomorrow when we celebrate the life and accomplishments of one of the greatest rock and roll icons of all time. I'll see you tomorrow.